14 year old boy so when you look at big questions like this just scan through the chief complaints very quickly you can see shortness of the cough fevers in 7 days uh, with green colored sputum and wheeze so you can see respiratory complaints and he was labeled as asthmatic on inhaled corticosteroids and bronchodilators he has clubbing so prolonged hypoxemia and auscultation revealed bilateral wheeze HRCT showed bronchiectatic changes on review history revealed bulky stools so fatty stools indicate malabsorption of fat that's a clue there right there so it gives us a differential diagnosis of celiac or cystic fibrosis or pancreatitis because pancreatic enzymes are required for fat absorption uh, there is one more clue sweat chloride test reveals elevated levels so uh, generally more than 60 millimole per liter is considered as elevated levels which points us to a single diagnosis cystic fibrosis uh, so cystic fibrosis usually presents as asthma uh, in the very beginning stages which then uh, gives rise to different uh, respiratory infections prolonged and repetitive respiratory infections give rise to bronchiectasis which you can see right here and it is it is basically due to cftr mutation uh, which gives rise to uh, in impaired chloride exchange on the cftr protein so the secretions will be very viscous mainly involved organs are respiratory tract pancreas and the digestive tract or the gut so because of these uh, effects you can see fat malabsorption so which of the following vitamin supplementation is required would be a fat soluble vitamin which is here vitamin d other fat soluble vitamins are a e and k so you can see deficits in this as well